Surveillance video records the vandalism of a coffee house in Philadelphia's Graduate Hospital neighborhood. Someone tossed a brick through the front window, and authorities say this isn't the first time the owner of that coffee house has been targeted. The coffee shop is now beginning the process of repairs. And neighbors are also upset by what's happened as well. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is live at the scene at 18th and South with more. Kimberly. It's a quaint coffee shop, and there are three different OCF coffee house locations throughout Philadelphia, but this one behind me is going through some repairs after someone came here in the middle of the night with a plan to damage it. At first, you don't succeed. Try and try again. But in this case, a vandal could face charges for his efforts. This surveillance video was captured on September 24th at 2 o'clock in the morning on the corner of 18th and South in Philadelphia. A vandal on a mission to shatter the window of OCF Coffee House. The coffee's pretty good and it's nice scenery. Zach Adams is a repeat customer and tells us he can't understand why someone would want to damage the business. I think it's pretty unfortunate. Uh, we just found out recently that it was a brick that went through the window and um, probably pretty unnecessary. Ori Feibush owns OCF Coffee House and was in the news back in May after his townhouse project became the target of an arsonist. Feibush issued us a statement saying he thinks it's quote white wealthy kids from the suburbs who thought our customers would appreciate some alfresco dining. Nearby residents say the vandalism may be in response to gentrification. Never heard anything in the news negative about OCF coffee shops per se, just their gentrification and rapid building of all houses in South Philly. We're told those repairs are going to cost around $300. If you know who is responsible for this vandalism, police say they would like to speak with you. For now, we are live on South Street. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.